the only people in the hotel. So me and Jay just got off the bus and we're in Carmen, which is the area where the Chocolate Hills is. We paid 75 peso each. You can catch the jeepney or the bus or the motorbike up the hill to the Chocolate Viewpoint, Chocolate Hills Viewpoint. But uh, we read that it's not that far, so we're gonna walk in instead. And I'm wearing like jeans because all our clothes are in the wash, including my shorts. So it's quite hot, but it's been raining today. So it's like the first time in two months that it's pretty much rain. Once you get here, you have to pay an entry fee. Yeah. If you're in Tag or you're around Tag or by Alona Beach, you can catch the Jibney or the tricycle to uh, the bus terminal right by Island City Mall. And then from there, you catch a yellow bus uh, to Carmen. And that's how you get to the Chocolate Hill. So we just reached the viewpoint. As you can see, yeah, it's very touristy. Uh, the chocolate hills are over there. The most craziest thing is that uh, no one actually knows how these are formed. Oh, and the reason why they're called chocolate hills. During the dry season, uh, the hills brown up. So it looks like chocolate, basically. That's what it is. gonna eat at the restaurant next to the viewpoint but it was really expensive and I don't think it's worth it so we're gonna go to the bottom of the hill there's a couple of local restaurants down there check if anything's the nice to eat down there uh, if not we're just gonna catch the bus back and then just get through that tag just there at KFC and we're gonna just have a browse around the shop now so for 45 peso, I've got myself a waffle with blueberry toppings. And try some. It's nice. Thank you. Go back to our hotel room and Jay's got some like sweet pork bun kind of thing. It's just like a bun and then like toppings in there inside the pork. Yeah. More fresher. 